Once upon a time, Tantan was doing some programming. He was happy, and then a bug. So foul, so cruel. No man yet has fought with it and lived. Okay, that part's not true. I did solve this bug, but it took me a full day of investigative work. And what I learned from this bug hunting experience, I will bring on to the future when I do more programming. Hope you enjoyed the story. Hope you can learn something from it. Let's go. I am implementing multiplayer networking to my voxel game. I'm using Rust and Bevy. I have built a lobby that the player can talk to, and the lobby can spin up game servers on remote relay. This is a peer-to-peer -peer like networking solution. You can find my video on that here. Now before implementing the network code into my voxel game, I was making a small game demo where I could experiment with my netcode. Players are red cubes, green cubes spawn in, and the player can eat them. Here is the bug in question. Sometimes the game would spawn in a massive amount of food, seemingly out of nowhere. I realized this only happened after one player had eaten 32 foods. This number 32 is very suspicious. Now how to debug this? Well, find the root place where the foods are spawned in and figure out why it spawned. I did some looking around and I found that food spawn in when a remote player sends a network message to spawn food. I added a print statement and surely it printed a massive amount of spawn messages. For some reason, someone had sent a lot of spawn messages. But why? Naughty, naughty. Okay, let's print when someone sends a spawn message to other remote players. I did so and this time around nothing was printed. Where does this network messages come from? My gut instinct told me that something was very fishy. It seemed unlikely to me that this was a logical issue I'd written in my code. Yet. I decided to jump around my whole code base, add print statements everywhere, hoping I had made some small logical mistake. I should have trusted my gut because after many hours of printing stuff and redoing the same thing over and over again, I finally decided to investigate outside of my code. You see, I'm using a networking library called Laminar. Maybe, just maybe, someone have had a similar experience to me, so off to the issues page I go. I wasn't sure what I was looking for, so it took me some time to stumble upon similar issues. After going back and forth, rereading issues, something about this one comment felt like it had the answer, yet I didn't understand it. What is acting? I reread the laminar book, I did a lot of research, and I finally found the answer. You see, I send packets with UDP, not TCP. UDP is super fast, but packets may never arrive at their location. Now, laminar has reliable UDP messages. These packets are guaranteed to reach their location, and I was using reliable UDP messages for the spawn packets, because it's important that the spawn message arrives. The way Laminar implements reliable UDP is genius in how it works, but lacking this knowledge was the root cause of this bug. You see, when you send a reliable packet with Laminar, we save a hidden number and send that number with the packet. This is packet number zero. Now when the remote server sends back a reliable packet, it includes the last 32 packets numbers it has received. So the next time I get a packet back, this list will include the number zero, and that's way we know that packet zero did arrive. And if we don't receive confirmation that the packet 0 has arrived within 32 packets, we assume this packet got lost and we send another one. That is how it works to send reliable packets with the UDP. Here it comes again, the number 32. In my game, we ate 32 foods, and I never receive any confirmation back that it has arrived. When I surpass this 32 foods, let's say 132, the next confirmation packet I receive only contains 32 spawned packets, meaning 100 of our packets that we sent, we assumed did never arrive to their location, so they are sent again. The root cause of this issue was that I wasn't sending back enough reliable messages containing these packet confirmation numbers. Now, in my game, I don't send reliable packets that often. I mean, when it spawns, it spawns. So my solution to ensure that all packets are ack knowledged whenever I receive a reliable packet, I also send one back immediately so it can acknowledge it got the message. The reason this bug went unnoticed was because this hacking behavior happens behind the scenes. I only construct the data of my game packets. The hacking data gets added within the laminar library. Now the solution I mentioned where I send back packets immediately, I actually count the amount of packets coming in and the packets I'm sending out. If I got five packets in and sent out three this particular frame, that means I need 
need to send two acknowledgement packets. In my code, I send the packets with no data since Lemonair does the hacking for me. What I've learned from this whole experience is that I should have trusted my gut instinct. Instead of retrying the same thing, adding print statements everywhere, that is when you should take a step back or a break and see if there's something else that can be the root cause. I learned that reliable UDP is really cool how they implement it, but I also learned you gotta be aware of how you write the code so you don't break the hacking.